Well, folks, here it is, Creality's newest entry to the Ender 3 line of printers, and boy, has the Ender 3 series come a long way. This is the Ender 3 V3 SE from Creality, and it boasts a whole set of new features, which takes its entry-level line of printers to the next level. We expect to have these in the stores in the next month, so make sure to always check back to microcenter.com for stock updates and more information. In the meantime, we thought we would show it off and show you the updates, upgrades, and features that makes this an interesting entry-level machine. The unboxing process was pretty straightforward, reminiscent of the Ender 3 V2. You get all of the typical accessories and tools with the printer that you become accustomed to with the Ender 3 series. And assembly was pretty quick and painless. Unlike the original Ender 3 Pro, most of the work on the X-axis and hot end is already done for you and the cabling is pretty minimal. You install the upper gantry, the screen, the filament holder, and strain relief for cabling, and you're pretty much ready to go. As always, make sure the power supply switch is set to 115 and not 230. All right, now that it's all together and up and running, let's take a look at what makes this such a great addition to the Ender 3 line and why it might just be your first 3D printer. First and foremost, this printer is all auto bed leveling using the CR Touch Probe. Gone are the days of messing with leveling nuts and springs. I've yet to see this on an entry-level printer like this. On the color screen in the easy-to-use interface, scrolling over to the auto bed level gives us an automated way to make sure that the bed is level and any variances are accounted for in the firmware. You actually get a readout of the variance on the screen so you can see just how level different parts of the bed are. The next thing you'll notice while looking at the print head is that it's using Creality's Sprite Drive Direct Extruder System. This is great if you want to start experimenting with flexible filaments and reduces a few of the problems that would come with a Bowden style printer. It also makes loading filament much easier. The build plate is also a nice upgrade from the previous Ender 3 V2 and is now a flexible magnetic metal build surface, which also has alignment screws in the back to ensure it goes on straight after being removed. On the rear of the machine, you'll notice two Z-rods controlled by a single stepper motor and synchronized by a G2 belt at the top of the printer. This helps ensure that the X-axis remains level to the bed. On the Ender 3 V3 SE, you'll find USB-C for connectivity to your computer, and a full-size SD card slot for loading files onto the printer. Probably one of the biggest upgrades comes in when we're talking about the speed. The Ender 3 V3 SE boasts up to 250 millimeters per second, which is pretty impressive for an entry-level bed slinger. As we've seen more and more recently, the push to go to a core XY enclosed 3D printer at a higher price point, it is nice to see that Creality is still focusing on the entry level. This could be your first printer, or maybe it's one that you're going to add to your arsenal to get more output. And again, it's just exciting to see that Creality is still putting effort into their entry level printers. I think, again, that this Creality Ender 3 V3 SE is a long way away from the original Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3. All right, we hope you've enjoyed this first look at the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. Make sure to check out Micro Center's YouTube channel for more videos like this. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time in the Maker Lab at Micro Center.